Come into the booth, he will. We've got Jonesy, Bunty. thanks for holding it down for a couple of heats, mate. We'll uh, catch you a bit later on. Thank you, Tezza, for having All me. Right. And well, I'll there see you soon. One of uh, Port Macquarie's finest there, Jones Russell. That was the official result, Sergio Lewis in fourth. Third place went to Stewart. Stuzzi did need a 5-5-3 five, five, in the end there. Pierre got a 6 I thought I said 6.5. 6.08 is a uh, worthy scorer. Pierre finishes in second and Jared Houston takes another heat here in Mexico. Yep. All right. Well, that is uh, Jared Houston. Just a bit of a victory lap there as he walks up the beach. And uh, right now you are watching heat number four, round number four of the Turbo Zicatella Pro, proudly presented by Sporting Bet. Welcome back into the commentary booth to uh, Mark McCarthy from South Africa. How's it? Yeah, welcome. It's um, really stoked there for Jared. Uh, it's pretty tight here between him and Pierre. Mark was always needing a big score, and then he almost got it there, and there a big opening wave. He was able to get a bit of a bottom turn, and did a big roll through the lip, but um, unfortunately the power of Zicatella had the last say and unfortunately didn't wash through the white water there. Yeah. And here's Jeff Hubbard on his first opening wave. All right, Jeff well, Hubbard. watch this kid go, folks. And uh, Jeff Hubbard just opening up, as he does, with an impeccable move off the end section. Um, just so consistent and so comfortable out here as we see green. And see what Mitch Rawlins can answer back in this one. It's the better looking wave. Good little sections and eye out the end bond. Boom. Also with a nice clean flip. And uh, he's a little bit stuck in the white water there, unfortunately not making it through. So Jeff having the best of those two, and here's uh, Magno Oliveira. Let's see what he can do. Oh my gosh! And unfortunately, just catching a rail there, and um, yeah, it's a nice little opening exchange. Of yeah, really nice opening exchange, and uh, you can still see the uh, wave face out there, still pretty clean. Um, I guess the wave selection really paramount in these sort of conditions, Mark. Yeah, big time. The, on, the wind's a bit onshore now. You got to pick up the ones that have a longer, longer wall. Like yeah, here we go. Jeff, Jeff's uh, picked up one of the better looking ones of the opening waves. He eyes out that end section. Uh, he knows he needs he needs to win this heat. He wants to get into the quarterfinals, how critical he, it is. And um, Jeff with a good opening right there. Jeff score. Just waiting for it to drop. And he has a replay of Mitch's. All right, well, Mitch Rollins just uh, eyeing off that section. Wants to uh, flip off the end ball. In fact, does so. But what happened was uh, that thing just kind of compressed and tightened right up in the end there. And he just didn't have enough... Uh, well, barely enough move, uh, room to complete that move and ended up getting caught up a little in the suds. And yeah, this is Johan Florentin, the, the trials champion, just getting through the wide water there, going up and over and throwing himself a nice roll. See if he can push through. Yeah, that's a good wave. Well, you've got to be thinking that's probably one of the best waves of the first wave exchanges. That was a really nice barrel there. Very clean exit. At, uh, he just drove into that one real nice and timed it pretty well. Let's go through the replay, Mark. Yeah, we go. The judges are going to really like this. Um, kind of uh, onshore now, so it's really hard. You pick up those ones that are really barreling, like this one. You're on front and picking it up nicely. Just quick in and out there, and uh, iron out for the end ball, doing a nice clean roll, and uh, exiting through the wide water. Good wave. Well, that was, uh, you know, similar to uh, Saint-Pierre, where we had the contest in Reunion. Uh, the same sort of uh, quality left-hander there from... Uh, uh, the Frenchman, and uh, he looked very much at home in those uh, in those sort of conditions. Yeah, just going to wait uh, for those uh, scores to come through and give you guys an update. If you just joined us, this is, um, this is uh, the last heat. Was it the last heat of uh, round number four? Yeah. Non elimination. We've got Johan Florentin, Mitch Rawlins, Jeff Hubbard, and Magna Passens. What a heat, and um, all these guys are capable of going crazy. All right, while the judges are having a little powwow about those uh, first wave exchanges, we're going to throw to an ad break and be back with more action live from the Turbo Zicatella Pro right after this. Hi, my name is Jacob Romero, and this is my high-performance signature model. Growing up on the island of Maui, I surf heavy waves every single day, and this board has been designed to handle that. The contour is on the deck for better flex and grip when landing big airs. The extra foam under my body softens the impact. The certain slick gives better flex and projection, nose bulbs for grip, 50-50 rails for speed, and channels for control. The board features PSI, Precision Stringer Inlay. This means the stringers are molded in with the core, giving the board added strength and longevity. This board is available in two core options, Polypro and Paradox Cell. The Polypro comes with a single circular stringer, and is better for warmer water. And the less dense Paradox Cell comes with three flat stringers 
and is better for cooler water. I designed this board to handle everything. From heavy waves to big airs, this board will take your adding to another level. Yeah, welcome back. We just see a bit of action going down there. Uh, we'll try and get a replay for you. You know what? We'll bring all that action to you right in a second. Just had lunch. I'm back. This is Zikatala Pro. Look at this replay here. Here's a replay. The whole beach is going crazy. The Brazilians are screaming for Magna. He goes up and over for big areas. It's amazing control there. Just full rotation pretty much. And whacks a little spin in there and follows through with a nice looking roll. And that's, without a doubt, is going to be the best wave of the heat so far. Scores have dropped for Jeff Hubbard's first wave. He got himself a 0 0.88, followed with a little, that little backflip. He got a 4.85. Johan Florentine for that barrel to roll. Got himself a 5.38. Mitch Rawlings, who went, he got a short score of 1.75, and Magna Passon with 0.88, but waiting for last of Magna's score to drop. It's going to be one of the best waves we've seen in the so far. There we can just uh, on the board there, you can see the current situation. We are still waiting for Magna's last wave. And uh, after this round, we will be moving into round five, so don't, stay, don't go anywhere. It's going to be some crazy man of man needs going down. That's right, we are moving to man-on-man -man after uh, this heat. It is uh, third and fourth from guys who positioned, uh, finished third and fourth in this freedom round. We'll go in around five and we'll be coming up with that round, uh, streaming that to the world in probably uh, 20, 20 minutes. You know what? We got a uh, Rawlins interview down there uh, on the beach, so... Uh, Sorry, a beach interview down there um, with Jared Houston. So, uh, Zimba, give it to us, buddy. Thanks, Alex. I'm here with the winner of the last heat, Jared Houston from South Africa. Jared, how does it feel after being winning that heat and being catapulted to the, into the quarters? Oh, man, it feels great. I'm still not... I, yeah, it was a, just a really tough heat in, in general. There weren't that many waves ridden, and um, I, just, I just feel super lucky. I'm just happy that I won the one that mattered for me and I'm, I'm through the quarterfinals so I'm very happy with that. Kid sick can you take it through through that wave? Um, yeah well I just had a I just opened up with a, with a like a roll of a set wave that I felt kind of kind of like being projected and um, so I got a nice like a six mid-range six for that and then um, and then I managed to pick up a nice little barreling left down the beach there which uh, which netted me my second scoring wave and um, and that was that I didn't pretty much didn't get another scoring ride so I was just super happy to get through on the strength of two sixes. Excellent, man. So both you and Jeff winning your heats. Mark's cooking must be working. Yeah, exactly. Mark won. Jeff, Jeff's in the, in the water now. So it's um, yeah, it's definitely we've been getting some good feeds. <laughs> Excellent, man. Right on. Well, you want to make a shout out to our sponsors, Get Out of the Sun? Yeah, definitely. Thanks to all the guys putting the event on. Um, it's really great to see all the industry and the support. And then also just to my sponsors, as well as my girlfriend in Puerto Rico and my family back in South Africa. Love all you guys and I uh, can't wait to see you soon. Sweet. Well, right on. Congratulations again to Jared Houston, winner of the last heat. Back to you guys in the booth, boys. There we go. Jeff Hubbard, nice air reverse there, just landing on top there, getting uh, just not getting the momentum to push him back in front there. Right, while, so. we're, while we're in the interview there, Jeff Hubbard just got a wave before and he did the biggest, biggest backflip of the morning, I reckon, so far and just got smashed. So, well, um, you know what? We'll speak to our cameraman and hopefully they can hear us and we'll try and get a replay of that. <laughs> oh, it's going to be great if we can get a replay of that one, but it's a. Uh, I heard the beach screaming. Yeah, and we've got live action, yeah. This is Magno Oliveira, right hand black. Just aiming for that end boy. He's going to go up and over for a nice flip again. Magno, for this wave, he goes up and over for a last roll. For this wave, he got himself an 8.63, put himself into first place, and with that wave that just come through now, he's going to be in a dominating lead. Wow, that's an amazing opening, opening little combination there for Magna. Okay, so are we still waiting for a score to drop for Hub for that? Hub, uh, hu scores will drop, but uh, it, was, it was incomplete. It was incomplete, okay. Yeah. So Magna Passos, here we go. This is Johan Florentine, the Union Island trials champion. Going big up and over. He's going to fling shot him in the wide water, unfortunately. Here he comes. He's going to make it. That's complete, yeah. Awesome. Awesome little combination flip there for Johan Florentine. Johan Florentine, yeah. He's, uh, yeah I like that, uh, the way he twisted that flip. He pulled it right in under his legs, didn't he? 
I would know exactly what's happened. His, uh, his uh, toes got stuck through. His toes look, probably... <laughs> Here we go. Sporting bet replay. Yarn Florentine going for that. Look at that nice flip there. Just just nice twisting. And uh, we see him kicking hard. I think he's... Because he's wearing those flippers, I think his big toe has gone through the big hole and it's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know when that happens to you, Mark? So annoying. Oh. But um, oh, that'll be a little opening way for him. And now we're back into live action now. So we're all waiting for the last of scores for Magnolia Vert to drop. And we'll give you a current situation. Currently it's Magnolia Vert first, Jeff Hubbard second, Johan Florentine third, and Mitch Rawlins in fourth. We're still waiting for Mitch to um, start off his campaign. And, uh, wow, they're just going hell for leather, aren't they? And there we have it. Magnolia Vert's last score did drop. He got a 7.08, giving him a total score of 15.71. And that's a, a really good score to have at this current stage with uh, 14 minutes left. He's put everyone in combination to uh, catch him. So the guys are, at this moment, probably trying to catch Jeff. That's in second place. If not, get themselves two better waves to uh, catch Magna, who's got, him, got them all comboed at the moment. Unbelievable. Combo the field with 13 minutes remaining. Oh, we're still waiting to see Mitch. Mitch hasn't really got the ball rolling yet. He's only got himself a 0.1.75. Uh, and there we can see it. There's, there are the current situations on the board right now. Magnum Oliveira with a dominating lead. Jeff Hubbard got himself um, a 5.8 and uh, 4.85. Unfortunately, we couldn't capture the last one of Jeff. He had a little runner down the beach um, barrel to roll combination. And uh, that means that Johan Florentine, I think we are waiting for his last score. I think it did drop. Oh no, it hasn't dropped yet. He, need, he needs a 6.76. Let's just see if he gets it for his flip. And, um, no, he needs a 5.28. He's chasing a 5.28 to go to second. He's got a total of 6.76. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> uh, with, uh, yeah, so we're waiting for his second backup score here. And uh, oh, who's live this? action. Magno again. Flipping. Wave magnet. And, um, well, we've seen Magno. Uh, he's flipping more than uh, pancakes at the moment. He's <laughs> just absolutely on fire in this heat. Yeah, he's ripping. Good to see him. He's, uh, he's, he's got a lot of energy around him at the moment. He's been screaming, yelling all day, supporting his man, Sergio Luis. And he has a little sporting bed replay. Magno Oliveira, a nice, clean ARS. Don't think he's going to be better than his uh, two current scores that he has, but uh, scores have dropped for Jan Florentine. He was looking for a 5.2. Eight, he got himself a 5.15, so it's not enough. Just short. Not enough for Johan Florentine. Hubbard still remains in second. As we see Rawlins having a go, first wave here for Mitch. Let's see how Mitch can answer back. He's, he's got been, to go big here. He's been very quiet. Big invert. Give himself a nice invert. Tweaked it nicely and uh, just pushed it to wide water. Got a little bit stuck there. Didn't Probably didn't get the projection that he wanted to. Nah, but uh, he's on the board, you know, and he's probably going to get around the 5-6 mark for that invert. Yeah, so he'll be uh, in striking range. To catch Jeff, that's in second. And uh, probably get himself out of combination. So Jeff, Jeff Hubbard. Here we go, he has a spawning bed replay. Mitch going up and over, iron that end ball perfectly. Didn't fling him as much as he wanted to, uh, probably, and uh, just land, lands it nice and clean. He'll probably get some good scores. So, uh, so everyone's pretty much out of combination now. But let's just see what happens with the last score of Mitch's. Jeff's in second. He needs himself a 9.91. Pretty much a perfect 10. Johan Florentine. If he wants to obtain second place, he needs a 5.28. And uh, waiting for last of Mitch. Last of Mitch's has job. He's getting himself a 5.96. So now Mitch needs a 4.67 to move into second place. So the boys are out there, they're battling. Um, this is a non-elimination round, just to remind you guys. Uh, first guy moves straight into the quarterfinals. Second moves into round six. And third and fourth will battle off later today on the round number five. Which we will be going into uh, straight after this heat. We're going straight into uh, man on man. Round five, Yuri Valdau versus Thomas Rigby. That's going to be a crazy heat. And straight after that, we've got the um, two brothers, pretty much good mates, Omari Laverne versus Dave Hubbard. That's going to be exciting to watch. Amari's been on some great form. We've seen him do some really well. And this is his Dave Hubbard's brother, Jeff, 
Oh, oh just pulling out there, not getting the uh, projection and speed that he was looking for to get up and uh, explode something off that lip. So Jeff Hubbard, he's going to paddle back out there and uh, look for something better. Without a doubt, we've been seeing Jeff Hubbard and some of the stuff that's come out recently on the internet. Um, without a doubt, one of the favourites for this event, being last year's champion. He spent a month here before the event. And uh, this is going to be jam-packed. He, he, he pretty much needs to replace all of his scores if he wants to take on first place, but he is holding down second. Jan Florentin, just a reminder, he only needs a 5.28. And uh, Mitch Rawlins needs a 4.67 4 to catch Jeff. Well, uh, do you think... How many ribs do you think Jeff Hubbard has broken in his time? <laughs> I know when he was here yeah, a month ago, he... Um, he had a crack rib, didn't he, or crack, something? Cracked a couple, I don't know. It's probably the worst um, feeling ever. He can't breathe, can't... Yeah, you know, it's pretty, pretty bad feeling for him, but uh, he knows what he, no he needs, and um, there we can see the situation on the board there right there. You can see that Johan only needs a small score along with Mitch. Wow, this is such a jam-packed team. Magna Passons. Probably a little bit of the underdog at the moment, uh, taking, them, taking them all down at this current stage. Just want to have a shout out to uh, our sponsors, Inverted, Reflex, Red Bull, Coastal Playground, Sportingbet.com.au, and Colorado Surf. Our media partners, YouTube, iNet, and Like Bodyboard, Brazil. Here we go. This is why Johan Florentin. He's in at the end ball. Um, without a doubt, he's going to go up and over and throw himself a nice... He's got a nice style. Flip. Yeah, it's pretty good. He's going to take yeah. his time to get out of the white water. He needed a 5.28. That's going to fall very close. I like his uh, backflip style. He, he seems to twist it around. It's uh, unusual. It's a lot different than the other guys, but uh, I like it. It's uh, very functional. So we wait for the last of Johan Florentin scores to drop. It's going to be pretty close. Yeah, sporting bed replay. Here's Johan. He's generated so much speed at this stage and just goes up and just decides he couldn't do an invert or a reverse here. So plan B was to throw it on the flip. He needs a 5.28 to catch Jeff in second place. And this heat has just flown by. We've only got seven and a half minutes left. Seven and a half minutes left. Magno Passons opened up with an 8.63 and a 7. Holding him down with a 15.71 total. Jeff Hubbard in second. He's got a 4.85 and a 5.8. In third, Johan Florentin. And Johan's scores have dropped and unfortunately is just short. He got himself a 5.13. So uh, just knocking those five points and just unfortunately not getting the score that he needs, but he'll be get back out there. Seven minutes remaining, more than enough time. Mitch only needs a 4.67. And... Um, Sure, we'll see Mitch uh, have a have a dig at this before the end of this heat. So the guys in the next heat, Pelinat, Uri Valada, Thomas Rigby. That's right, and we see Jeff Hubbard just getting a little busy now. What's he going to do? Oh, he's opted out to take this wave. Had a look at that one, giving away his priority. He's leaving Mitch at the back there. Jeff might have another go at the one behind this. If he gets himself into a, situ into a position, he's having a look. No, he's a bit too shallow, and it's probably... It's quite a straight set. Just closing down, down the bay, and uh, we see the onshore winds kind of pick up and picking up slightly. A good thing is that it's, um, we've got a couple of clouds in the background, and um, rumor has it it might just turn a little bit offshore later. And this is live action. Jeff Hubbard going up and over for a nice roll. He's looking at replacing his lower score, which is a 4.8. 4.85, and... Um, Without a doubt, I'd probably say he's got that. He wants to just uh, gain a bit of a lead ahead of uh, Johan Florentin and Mitch Rawlins, who is currently in third and fourth. But the man of the hour right now in this heat is uh, our boy from Brazil, Magno. Magno yeah. is absolutely dominating this heat. Yeah, Here we see Jeff. That's a heavy roll. Hits it nicely. Tough landing. Pulls through. Yeah, it's not, I mean, you can see Jeff's you know, he's, he's, he's realised that with you know, five and a half minutes left, he's probably not in a situation to catch um, Magno, but um, he does want to. He doesn't want to come third or fourth. Because if you come third or fourth, that means you have to serve twice to get into the quarterfinals. If he's at line in second, he only has to serve one more time. And if you're third and fourth, you have to serve you know three times to get there. So um, he's trying to make um, his route to the finals a lot uh, a lot a lot easier than um, 
actually could be. So the last of red has dropped. It's a 5.63. It did, it did replace this 4.85 that it did have. So now it makes things a little bit harder for Johan Florentine. You know what? We've got five minutes remaining in this heat. Before anything else happens, uh, we'll cut to a quick ad. We'll be back right after this. Yes, punters. Welcome to the world of Sporting Bet. At Sporting Bet, we live and breathe sports and racing. It's what we do day in and day out. That's why we're the punters' favourite, providing top odds and unique promotions on a huge range of markets. And our cutting-edge technology means you can bet anywhere, anytime. So if you're into sports and racing as much as we are, go to sportingbet.com.au today. Because there's no better bet than a sporting bet. Welcome back. This is the uh, IBA Turbo Zicatella Pro, presented by Sporting Bet. We're down here in Puerto Escondido, Mexico, uh, in a lovely state of Oaxaca. And uh, tell you what, Mark, it has been a sensational day of surfing as we watch Magno from Brazil. Taking a look at this one, just pulling out. Uh, it's been unbelievable today. The surfing, the level of surfing and uh, just the competition that's gone on. You know, the rivalries, uh, we've seen it all. The drama, uh, action gone down in the last minute of different heats. And we're getting right down to the money and now our business end. Yourself, you're sitting comfortably. You're in the quarterfinals. Yeah, I'm uh, You're in the quarterfinals. Uh, we still don't know who you're taking on in the man-on-man -man yet because that needs to be decided after round six. But you, uh, you surf really well in both your uh, heats today. Really yeah, good left, to, really good right in that first round. Yeah, I was just uh, trying to get busy there. And um, with a non-elimination round, you've got to go big. And if you don't have the opportunities, it's pretty hard to. And um, like, I was just grateful that um, I could get those waves that come to me in the beginning of the heats and uh, just try to go as big as I possibly could. Just to, you know, get that first place. It's so critical moving to that first place. And I was speaking to Dave about this a few minutes ago before I came up here. And... Um, he actually, I mean, me and him, the central event, we surfed, I think, eight each eats. Like, we surfed the longest way to get to the, to the semifinals. I surfed, like, around five. I, I lost my first, like, three heats. So I had to go the longest way possible to make it to the semifinals. Yeah. And um, we just called that the, um, the scenic route. <laughs> you took the scenic route, uh, the Mexican GSS. So this time around, uh, yeah, it's getting to find a bit of a shortcut and uh, just, I uh, was really stoked. But at this moment... Jeff Hubbard, he's in second place. He needs a 9.91 to catch Magno Oliveira. And in third place, Johan Florentine, he needs a 6.05. Mitch Rawlins, been very quiet in this season. He's only got himself a one, one score of a 5.98. He needs a 5.45. Yeah, but you know what? Rawlins is up there because he's got uh, the third uh, highest scoring wave. Oh, this is Jeff Hubbard. Oh, my gosh. He's running oh, down the beach. Is he going to come out of this? Beach. No. Here we go, Mitch Rawlins, what's he going to do here? Looking for a section, he's got to do something big here, Mitch. Let's see what oh. he can get. Oh, it's just phoned out on him. So just hit that through. wide water. Two minutes remaining on the clock for these boys. This is uh, the last heat, heat four of the Freedom Round, Freedom Round four. And we're, we're moving into round five uh, next with uh, heat one. Thomas Rigby taking on uh, Uri Valadao. So here we go, a little replay at Hub. This hub just uh, generating that speed. You know, as you want to go for the barrel, Gener he just uh, gives it a quick two pumps, two pumps. I'm sure he's just draining, going as fast as possible. But uh, that shut down and pretty fair, quick for him. Well, we uh, are looking forward to these man-on-man -man heats, uh, especially with the, uh, the criteria and uh, with the conditions. Um, it's going to be 25 minutes heats. They're going to be 25 minute heats, sorry, these man-on-man -man ones when we go into round five. We're, uh, we're looking at going into, we're going to do 30 minutes, but uh, we thought, you know, the consistency's there. The contest director has said that there is uh, consistency with the waves, so they've cut them down to 25 to squeeze them in today. Yeah, why not? This is, um, this is not, as you can see, the conditions aren't that bad. It's, it's pretty good out there still. I can't see why not, you know, why, we, why we want to hold back now and... Um, if you want to finish the contest tomorrow, which uh, more than likely is going to happen. Well, it looks like that's what's going to happen now. We are definitely going to finish tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. Here we he go. Rawls has got to go big. It. He's got to hit this thing. What can he do? Oh, he's in the barrel. Oh, my Zags. goodness. Wow. Amazing barrel. And Very an invert. invert. Rawls, he was chasing a 598. Oh, without a doubt, you think he's got that. Rawls, that was an incredible heavy barrel. 
I thought there was going to be a bowl on it, but he tucked in and just slabbed over the top of him. So let's see what the scores drop for him. Rawlins' last exchange as we count down. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rawlins, bang, just sneaks under the lip there. Look at that. Oh, that went heavy on him. Nice barrel there. Camel with the, with the bowl. Nice extension fl uh, invert there. And uh, let's see, pushes through the studge. Uh, he pushes, he's pushing. You know what? The angle of that, I think that, that they're going to reward that as a completed move. That yeah, was pretty, pretty amazing. We'll just see if those last... This is going to push. This could, this, you know what? This could push Hub down into third, which we will see. Hub